stop setting the apple cart here. You're sitting in this spot instead of your normal spot up here, but it's because I want you to see the screens. I have something I want to show you on the screens that's harder to see when you have to move your neck around and look like that. How many of you like superheroes? Any superhero fans? Who are some of your favorite superheroes? Batman. Any other superheroes that you can think of today? Spider-Man. Yep. Iron Man, yep. Superman. Who was it? Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Well, my son is a huge fan of superheroes. And so I said, Eric, can you help me out with the children's word again? He said, sure, Mom. So he put together some examples of DC comic superheroes and Marvel comic superheroes. I don't even know there was a difference. But he put that together for me. And so I want to show you, see if you know some of these superheroes and what their superpower is. Do you know what the superpowers are of all these different superheroes? Well, let's check it out. Let's see, Batman, somebody said Batman. He has no superpower of his own, he's human. Isn't that interesting? But he uses his brain, his detective skills, his agility, speed, strength, and utility belt to fight crime in Gotham City. So that's how he has superpowers. His counterpart is Iron Man, which someone also said. Like Batman, he doesn't have any of his own, uh, but he was, because he's using his smarts, um, he was creating more than 50 suits, which enable him to fly, shoot beams, and be very durable, and gives him strength. Interesting, huh, these superpowers? Sometimes we think they come from somewhere else, but they do with some others. How about the Flash? Anybody know the Flash? You saw He's fast, right? So his superpower is to go uh, so fast and he protects the people of Central City. And his counterpart is Quicksilver. I'd never heard of this guy, but if you're an X-Men fan, uh, you know who Quicksilver is. And his, this is Eric's favorite, so he put a ton on the screen for me. So read it all if you want or whatever. He's fast too, okay? That's his superpower. And then you said Superman, right? This is the one we probably all think of right away. And he has some amazing powers from the sun, apparently. Laser eyes, he can fly, right? And he has freeze breath and super speed. And his counterpart is Captain America. And he has some super powers as well that were given to him. And he has a shield. And that's what helps protect him and also serve him with his powers. Well, it's kind of fun, isn't it, to think about these superheroes, and some of you really like that. But you know what? All these superpowers and all this wonderful imagination, which is fun for us, is nothing in comparison to Jesus and his superpower in our life, right? Jesus is our superhero. And what are Jesus' superpowers? Any guess on what Jesus' superpowers might be? Does he run at speeds that are so fast like the flash? Eh, probably not, yeah. We haven't seen Spider-Man. I'm sorry I let you down on Spider-Man. <laughs> You're right. No, and he can't be like Spider-Man going up buildings, right? But what are those superpowers? Forgiveness, life, and salvation. For where there is forgiveness of sin, there is life and salvation. And those superpowers are wonderful gifts to us in our lives. They are the best gifts we can receive, and that's what makes Jesus so powerful in our lives. So we always see things like this that may be fun and draw us in, but the greatest superpower of all is Jesus. So let us pray. Thank you, God, that you have given us Jesus, your son, to lift up the power that he has given to each of us the gifts of forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation. May we rejoice in these gifts each day. May they be those things that empower us to serve you with our whole heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for coming forward today.